So this video shows what I did to repair a Hoover carpet and upholstery cleaner. Really, it won't turn on anymore. So I decided to take it apart and see if I could figure out what was First wrong thing with you it. want to do is take off your tanks and then you got to take out all these screws in the back. You have a screw here and here, here and here. And then there's a screw in this handle here and here. Take out these three screws here, here and here. And these three screws here here and here. All these screws that I've taken out, they're all the same size. So you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. And from there, the case will split. You can lift these trays out. It takes a little bit of finagling. And once you have the trays out, the case will split apart a little bit easier. And what I found on mine was that the switch here is no longer working. You can see it looks like it's a little melted there these fittings press on this little tab right here next to my fingernail and they will slide off these electrical connectors of course i did this with the unit of plug unplugged of course there's a little tab right there press on that little silver tab and these will come right off the switch is on and they have no continuity through the switch leads work meters in the continuity setting But as you can see, no continuity through the switch. And it is in the on position. So what this means is that this switch is bad. This is the one that came out of the unit. So, hypothetically, if we get a replacement switch, have someone replace it that's competent, and this thing should be back in service.